This is Alex Lawrence Barkley at AutoSense Detroit, just outside Pontiac, Michigan, um, here for the very first year. And I'm joined here by Sylvie from ST Micro. Sylvie, welcome to AutoSense again. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so tell us about what you've been up to uh, since we last saw you in Brussels. Yes, so uh, we, today we, we demonstrate a new camera system so, uh, based on the CMOS sensor that we have introduced already in Brussels last year. It's a high dynamic range LED flicker-free sensor. So we are able to combine a very high dynamic range capability, 145 dB, with a full immunity against uh, LED flicker lightings. Mm -hmm. And uh, today so we demonstrate the complete camera system with uh, a new image signal processor, it's a companion chip. We have in ST a very long experience in ISP, we developed them for more than 15 years mm -hmm. and we are uh, pleased today to demonstrate uh, the, the latest generation that brings a very high quality uh, to, uh, to our sensor and this uh, complete camera system is a perfect system for LVDS automotive application. We've got three new things there, let's talk about the high dynamic range first, so that's tackling what sort of problems that you see with cameras now? So the problem with camera, with actual cameras is that the dynamic range that is announced at sensor level uh, will be impacted by all the processing chain. So when you have a sensor with 110, 120 dB, after the complete processing chain with the ISP, the, the, let's say the final dynamic will be lower than that. So that's why we, we, we are really convinced that we need to bring more dynamic range at sensor level uh, in order, so after the processing function, when you display uh, the camera output, uh, you, you will have on the display uh, at least 120 dB of total dynamic range. It's important for the, for the driver to, to, to see on the display uh, what uh, is human eyes is able to see in reality. Okay, and so the second thing you mentioned was flicker free. Now you demonstrated that in Brussels yes. um, and we've got another demonstration here. Now I can tell you from using my own eyes that in the background there is a police car that has always on lights. So my naked eyes can see always on lights. The key thing with CMOS sensors and other image sensors that haven't got this type of technology is that they're prone to flicker. And you can see this demonstrated on the screen here that the police cars, the lights are flickering like crazy and that's not what is actually happening on that police car. We've got another screen here that is corrected using the ST Micro approach, which you're seeing this the solid always on light and the nice scene in the background there. And the police car is actually, that's a real representation of what it, I can see with my naked eyes. So that, that was the flicker free technology. And you mentioned another thing, which was um, image sensor processing as well. Yeah, so today we, we propose a new image signal processor, companion chip to go along with our imager for automotive application. The benefits of this new ISP is that is uh, able to scope with both machine vision applications and display vision applications. So within the same silicon, through different software processing, we can either output a perfect raw buyer data for machine vision. You don't need a full colorization. You just need to output a perfect barrier raw buyer data. And the, under a different software configuration, we can activate the complete processing pipeline and output YUV RGB for display vision applications. It's great to have you here again, and look, we look forward to seeing you again next year. And of course, in September, when in we go September back to Brussels. In September in Brussels. See you in September in Brussels. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.